Hello everybody, welcome to episode 17... Well, I was about to say 17, when I just meant 7. I'm being a big old fat idiot today. So welcome to episode 7. Um, today we are going to be working a little bit more on the pyramid. Um, and as you can see, I do have a filler recipe set up. Actually, I can get rid of the stupid string. I can lock that in. So filler is a little bit um, expensive to per se. It's not really too expensive, but it still is expensive. Alright, so we are going to need some... First off, we're going to need some wooden gears. We're going to need about two of them. We're going to need some stone. Oh, I just needed... No, alright, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, eight. I don't even think I'm gonna need eight. I am gonna need eight. Iron. Oh, good lord. And I'm gonna need three lapis. Actually, four lapis. And four redstone. Oh, I already have redstone in my inventory. Alright, iron. And last but not least, gold. Okie dokie, artichoke. We're just going to queue the filler up into this thing. But first off, we're going to need to know how to make that. Which is just a redstone torch. Which I'm just going to steal something from there. No, I don't want that. I want it, um... I'm actually going to need five. Because I forgot it required one itself. Right now I can make the. Now I should have enough to make the filler. Wait, I still need the crafting table. All right, we got the crafting table now. All now we left is need is the chest. All that's left is now the chest. And some of that. Oh, and that. Let's not forget that. That's a somewhat important part of the recipe, you idiot. I don't need that. I want just to make up... Alrighty. We got the chest. Oh, I'm just going to get rid of heart that. Not that, you bumbling idiot. Take that back, though. And the marble. But, oh, ink sacks. Duh, of course I'd be missing the ink sacks. Hmm. Could have sworn I had a nice quantity of ink sacks. Up oh, there. Ink sacks. Alrighty. We now have a filler. So, where's that extra clay I had lying around? Well, more like those extra bricks I had lying around. Were they in here? Yeah, they were in here. Actually, we're not going to want to lock the filler into place. Then that gives me two. I need a lot more than that. Now you may be asking, why do I need a lot more than that? No. That's grout. I need clay. Clay, 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 clay. Ah, oh, there you are. Found the clay. Where's the clay, 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 clay? Alrighty. I'm just gonna throw this right in there. Just to get rid of. Also, just get rid of that gold ingot. Good lord, I'm getting a lot of gold just everywhere. We actually almost have two stacks of gold. Um, iron can go actually back where it goes along with that can just go in there. That's aluminum, that's why it didn't work. Alrighty. So that looks to be doing well. Sorry. Um...
Alright, we need about eight. Um, the reason why we need about eight is because eight's um, the outside of the crafting, so... Come on, you can do it. We so need a few more. So there was, um... Now, I know I've written about this in a vlog that hasn't aired yet, um, but... These are now a pain in the motherfucking ass. As you can see, this looks somewhat cleaner. Well, that's because now you can actually use these to cover up the pipes. But now they connect to anything. They'll connect to each other even if there's two different liquids flowing through it. It's just like, why? You never did that before. Why did you have to change all of a sudden? Like, mate, was it a coating or something? Because I can understand if it was coating. But it was just like, um, the coating was, he just said the coating was wrong for the update. Or the coating was, but, I don't know. It's just like, okay, well then tell us this and don't just assume that it's going to work like everything else because it took me way too long to refix everything. Alright, six, seven, eight. Alright, so now we can begin on the filling process. Alright, so we're going to need that. I'm going to need some scaffolding still. Actually, I'm just going to want to stack a scaffolding. Depending on um, how big I feel like making the pyramid, Alright, so, piece, because this is the corner, right here is the corner, now we'll make it 26 by 26, and even numbers leave behind, crap, okay, so never mind, we're not going to make that perfectly even. Now this is my first time actually using a, um, off. Oh, Cracker Rudy. Yes, I did just say that. Um, pickaxe, pickaxe. There we go. I just don't want to waste scaffolding doing other crap. Hmm. Doing, doing. Let me out of the damn hole. Okay, this is again starting to just drive me a slight little bit insane. Now one. Now these should just line up perfectly. I'm gonna go over here. Ah, oh, somewhat perfectly. Alrighty. So I've got the perimeter of the pyramid outlined. So now we have that all done. So all we have left to do now is do this. These will detach and we will be free to go pick them up. Now we're gonna need some sort of power source to power this thing. Um, excuse me, hope you do not mind, but I will be borrowing this for a little bit. Alright, so we're just going to place this over there. And I can use that. Okay, so... What was the way to make the pyramid in the past? Ah. Ah. Pyramid resources, okay? You're going to want some resources. I understand that. Um, if I had, if the thing had not dropped out a lot of its resources, we would have plenty of sand to do this with. Um, I'm just going to throw everything that I do not need this very second into this chest, which just completely filled up. Alright, so I'm also going to throw it in this chest. Alright, well, that chest also completely filled up. Alright, so we're going to need some sand. And we'll leave that much in there. Alright, clear. Which is one that is almost completely empty? Alright, there's not one all completely empty. So we just have to make do with what we got.
Okay. That's all taken care of. Alrighty, three, two, one. Alright, so we should now have a decent amount. Now this is not going to be super fast because of the fact that now um, they are smaller. Oh. It's not going to make a hollow pyramid. It's not going to make a hollow pyramid. Alrighty. Oh, well, that's a significant what the fuck. Alright, well that's back to the drawing board. And that did just drain most of its power, so... Either I go back through and dig all this up, or I get a turtle to do it again. There's got to be a way to make a hollow pyramid. I think... Hang on, let me just replace this down. I think if you do... No, it's got to be that. Alright, well... I'm going to go... Now I've got to go use a, mo the majority of my scaffolding to, fit, to improve this little frap up. And... Okay, so that's just fucking fantastic. That's it. I'm getting the turtle. Oh, also, why are your wireless turtles, they don't, like, retreat back to where they go, but why are turtles, they basically dig a spot out to place a chest. If they don't have the chest, then they don't place it. But, um, so I did discover that that's what the turtle kept trying to do. That's what it was always trying to do, was place a chest. So if you give it a chest, it will, um... I'm just looking for stupid fucking wood, thank you. Oh, just place that. One more. Alright, and now I just need a bucket. There should be some iron somewhere in this network. Or not. We're looking for just some sort of fuel source, but I guess we'll just have to do coal. So we're just going to place it right here. We're just going to place this. Give it the chest and give it some coal. Where'd the chest fucking go? Okay, that was odd. I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye on this thing now. But, um... So yeah, some of you guys may be wondering why am I using scaffolding? Um, well one, scaffolding is a nice, just, um... Oh! Is a nice little, like, thing to use. And because it also acts like a ladder, as you can see. Oh, look, I got up there now. So it's really useful to use, and, but Mikey will fall quite fast. They did change it a little bit to where you do just descend incredibly fast now. So now what I'm doing is I'm going back through and I'm reestablishing it. There we go. Oh, and no, it's like you can hit them. Oh, good lord. Okay, so that was just being a pain in the fucking ass. So... It's um, a nice little system to use. It sometimes can be a, just a huge pain in the ass to use, though. But I feel that sometimes the benefits of this thing outweigh like the 
pain parts, but that's just my personal opinion. Well, forgot about that. So yeah, it's a, it, they're nice. I mean, these are wooden ones, so they're not as strong or as durable as the next tier ones. So the next tier ones are iron ones, and they only, um, and they require so much to do to get them that sometimes I declare them not worth, not worth it. So that's just my opinion. So hopefully this thing will, um. So hopefully soon this thing will wrap up and it will place its chest down or burn the chest. It probably burned the chest is what I'm going with now because that makes the only logical sense is that the chest is now kapuk. So that's just my belief of what's going on. That I'll have to keep an eye out so I'm going to be right back after this thing hopefully fills up its inventory. Let's hope it fill up its inventory with just junk. Whoop. Returning and hopefully it'll place a chest and we will now know where the stuff is. Okay. Nope. Nope. It did not. So we're just going to put a hopper down. And put it next to a chest because that's the only other idea I can think of. That doesn't completely and utterly suck. Is put a hopper down, put a chest by the hopper. It should at least like collect it. Because if it spits it out like that. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so I am back and I have finished the pyramid! Da -da -da -da. But I remembered that I had this magical little wand that would have helped me so I didn't have to build an internal part two. Um, so, yeah, I've now got to go through and I, w and I spent hours getting sand just from like, oh, where'd I go? I went like over there, over there, over there. I went everywhere except for right near me. Mm. So, yeah, I was pretty dumb. And I was also breaking up sandstone to get more sand, which then I just put back into sandstone. So I may have not thought out, may have not thought this plan out very well. And yes, I may have just made a um, Meet the Robinsons quote from the one that Disney made, not the one that um I don't know if it was. I think it was Mrs. Robinson. Uh, I don't remember. Ah, oh, mom. So right now, what I'm doing is okay. So you see this. That's because I added stairs to the outside, so we found the other edge of the wall, of the, whatever you want to call this thing, the pyramid. The Great Pyramid of Fusion. Alright, so we found the other side. And there you go. So now I know that, those proportions. But I hope you guys like the little doorway I've kind of built. I think it looks cool. Oh, these could just be straight. I was just going to do a one thing doorway, but I thought uh, this would be a little bit cooler. But, so yeah, that versus this. Well, that versus this. I go with mine over that any day. So yeah, we now can make the cactus processing facility. One problem though, we have oil right here. And so it's kind of like, so where are we going to put the cactus processing facility? Well, for one, we're going to put the cactus and sugar cane. That is the beauty. I think we can do it underground. At least I hope we can do it underground. That is the plan. If not, we can move it over here, and then if we need to move it, we can move it somewhere else. Right now, I'm just getting rid of these bees. Just because I, I don't know what they do just yet. I don't know what type of bees they are. Uh, portal gun. Oh, I'm moving the block. That's what that is, that is showing up. And G. Res. I have no clue. Whatever. 
So yay, we have stuff. So we have our pyramid, which um, still has to get emptied out. We have um, my house, which still need fixed. But we're getting plenty of this, and um, wow, we got a lot of that. And this is not planting anymore. So something must be up, or this is almost out of power. No, it's not out of power yet, just yet. So, I'm not liking how I'm building this as much as I usually do. Uh, let me just check on this. Oh, we're full on that. Okay. You, make me stone. But I need lava. Whatever, I'll find some lava later on. I do like how much cleaner this looks. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean... Right now, I think, I'm thinking I might just do the cactus there, and then that's it. Not make any more buildings, because I usually like to go underground a bit. Um, kind of like my, what series is that? That was season three. I did a lot of underground. Um, so I'm going to try to go back to that. I probably also might use that for, um, I don't know, something cool. But it's not really big on the inside. Uh-huh. So I just made I just made myself laugh because I thought of a um Doctor Who reference. Oh, also, there's this mod. I do not know what mod, what it is, what the actual mod is, but um it makes the dark it, it makes this darkness, and um. Dyro keeps calling it the Bastion Narada, which I think is from Biomes of Plenty. I have no clue though. I'm hoping it's from Biomes of Plenty. I don't want Bastion Narada. I want to be scared to go in the dark. Um. Which, if you guys don't know Doctor Who at all, um, well, start with the David Tennant. See, start with um, David Tennant. Um, which I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, "Oh no, David Tennant sucks. He's the worst Doctor." My opinion, best Doctor. He was like, that's why Doctor Who got very popular in America. Well, it could have been popular before, but I just say David Tennant was one of the best Doctors. Matt Smith, mm, okay. Um. I'm not a big fan of um, Rose Tyler. She's like my least favorite companion ever. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, she's the best. And like, okay, minus her hotness, what else does she bring to the table? Nothing. So, yeah. yeah. But I do like Clara. She's cool. I like her. The fact that she w jumped into the dark. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about Doctor Who because this video could get flagged for that. But, alright, so, here we go, so, this is pretty much, now there's still a lot more, but the cactus processing, I could have made this much, much smaller. Actually, I don't even think this, th this will be cool anymore. I love it, I build crap, and then I just completely forget about it. I love that. Well, I don't know what we're going to use this for anymore. Oh, I got it. We're, it. It can also be used for my Thomcraft research or my um, Ars Magica stuff. That's it, Ars Magica stuff. We can start doing some Ars Magica research in here. We'll have a cactus processing facility underground, and the rest is Ars Magica. I like that idea because it gives it that whole magical feel with the pyramid, and then you add some magical mods into the mix, and you kind of have a perfect combo. At least in my opinion. So woohoo, we found out what I'm going to do with this building. Probably going to add another floor to this while I'm at it. Just because I think, um... So yeah. Oh, good lord, I need to find a faster way to do this because I'm about to break this pickaxe. Let's see. Oh, good lord, this thing's got a long thing on it. Oh, just got damaged some more. Oh, good lord, this thing just keeps going. I just keep mining away, and this thing just keeps going. Okay, screw it, I don't care. I'll just make some more crap up. Alright, so this is now going to be Ars Magica. So this will be really cool. I like the idea of Ars Magica right here. Oh, and then we can add like a um, structure on top, 
one of those node, because if we go to ours mad mod, um, ours Magica 2, they have these thing. They're um. Oh, what's that? How do I get that? Oh, that's how I get that. I don't know what it does at all. It just looks cool. Barrier, that sounds cool. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm not really a Ars Magica all-knowing. I'm probably the last person you want to ask about Ars Magica. But, um... I don't know. Maybe Ars Magica and Thalmcraft. But I do like that I'm... Oh, there it goes. I finally fracking broke. Okay. So, we're probably going to need to make a... Oh, wait. Let me quickly go to for factorization. 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 I just saw it. Barrel upgrade. You should... Oh, he did bring back extra dimensional barrels. Yay! I'm happy to see extra dimensional barrels back. That look that's an improved grinder. Oh, I still love that. That little it makes cool. It looks cool. Alright, so we have got to find yeah. out what we're gonna do, because um actually you know what? I'm just gonna cut this power line. Just because I've got no clue what on earth we're gonna be doing with any of the stuff we have. Still need to improve this building. My crappy, crappy little home. I wonder. This is something that's kind of been bothering me. Nope. Oh yeah, that's broke, duh. Alright, well, that's broke. I can't use that right now. Alright, this needs to charge back up. Uh, rotate it. There you go. And intake. And output. There you go. So, I say we have a nice looking facility on our hands. I do not know about you guys, but I say, um, once I get all this stuff, like, swapped out for proper things I want, it will look good. Um, sand can go back in there. Um, I want to use my Thalmcraft pickaxe. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't need that. I do want that. I do want that. Oh, that'll be good. Anything else? Um, one, two, three, four, five. And what else is needed? Two obsidian things. Oh, we could also move this in there. We could do that. We could do that. I do not know, though. Doo -doo. Alright, so this episode of building the pyramid that I'm probably not going to use again for a lot of other stuff um, went rather well I like it, it's just a random pyramid inside of a huge um, oil field it's just completely hysterical, now if that happened in real life the pyramid would probably be destroyed and my reasoning behind that is just because people would rather have oil over a pyramid but seriously, come on, it's a pyramid well, I've never actually been to the pyramids. Hmm. I've seen enough of them in movies. That's my logic. I've seen enough in movies. Alright. Um, I just need to make a quick attachment. Or a quick adjustment. Oh. You're not gonna let me do that. You dickwad. I've always gotta do this in here. Come on. I still got it back, yay. Marble has a harder is harder to break for some reason. Let's look, I'm gonna try to break it. Oh there we go, you just can't see it. 
da, 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 da. Alright. So I'm probably also going to go back through here, because these are all like, it's wasting a lot of piping. So I'm probably going to go back through there and improve that piping. But first of all, I'm going to just that stuff. And we're going to give it that. There you go, now that looks cool. I probably could just do... Oh, that fell apart. Alright, uh, probably we'll swap that out too. Alright, so what I'm doing is I now gotta go back over to this building Alright, give me a minute. Gotta go back over to this building and grab some stuff out. I'm really, between this episode and next episode, if you guys just see a lot of just like me, a lot just changed, I do apologize. But, um, I think it's like this. This is how the recipe goes. Yes, that's how the recipe goes. Alrighty. I'll lock that into there. Dive, darve, darve. Now I don't know what I'm gonna go with, cause I kinda like. I don't know, I kinda like, um. Yeah, I like that a lot better versus this. I do like how if you just want to change your mind, you don't have to break the whole thing. You can just swap it out like that. That is really cool. I could just put it in the stupid thing. But nah, I like this one the best. Yeah, don't you guys? I think I think it looks good. I think it looks fantastic. So, voila. We now have an improved... Although this, you no longer can like you used to be able to, like to click on that thing and adjust like the power settings and things like that, but he destroyed that. So yeah, I mean, I need to get a better tank, which means I'm gonna need to start doing some railcraft mechanics soon. Um, probably gonna put like oil, like the storage drums that they have like refined at oil fields. Probably gonna do something like that. That'll be cool. That, um. Still going to do the cactus, but I'm probably going to do the cactus right here. Oh, that should be done by now. There should be three. Yeah, we're more. Alright, I got three. And yeah, that's all that's left. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly repair my... Okay, there we go. So I'm probably going to put the cactus processing facility out here, build a harvester to harvest everything, and maybe even add a sprinkler. Because I think um, sugar cane can grow faster with sprinklers. So, let's see. Let's hope. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I do apologize for this episode being a little bit derpiness. That's probably going to ca call this episode the big old... Um, a big old derp. So, yeah. I mean, these still annoy me. I mean, make the stupid... <laughs> it's so much cooler when they do. It is. I'm not lying, people. It is so much cooler when they do it. If you don't believe me, go back, look at Buildcraft, and then go look at this... mess. You will think Buildcraft looks better, too. Trust me. Oh, we're now on Thomcraft 3 and Buildcraft 3, so it's kind of ironic that they're both in their three stages, and one's been the same, and one's completely revamped itself. So, what is going to happen? The whole knows. I love that. I'm glad that's not crashing. Alright, so, I think this is the end of the episode. I will see you guys next time for another Minecraft Let's Play. Um, and remember, keep playing that Minecraft!